details into that just yet. First Alert Chief Meteorologist Dave Aguilera is in the First Alert Weather Center. Dave, it was a beautiful day outside today, but we have some chillier weather on the day. Wait. We do indeed, yeah. There's a system coming our way, and you were talking about the Pearl Fire. I have a little worry coming up for Friday. I'll show you why in a second, but what a day we've got going on right now from our new augmented virtual reality studio. Mostly clear skies around the area today. Behind that cold front we had yesterday, really just a beautiful day going on with hardly a cloud in the sky at all. And if we talk about temperatures around here, we're in great shape. Take a look. Fort Collins is at 78 right now. We've got a little breeze going in some locations, but it's nothing really crazy. 81 in Boulder and downtown Denver. Castle Rock has a, a 13 mile per hour wind right now, but they're only going about oh, uh, 80 degrees at the moment, so not bad at all. We take you up into the foothills in the mountains. Evergreens at 68 in Estes Park, 67 and mostly 60s up there. You got 61 in Dillon, 68 in Vail, all the way up to 66 up in Steamboat Springs. And you look at the Lookout Mountain camera, a little wider view for you here. There is not a cloud in the sky over the area, so we're in great shape right now. High temperature today, just a few points above normal. Normal is about 81, 82 degrees. We are 85 for the high and uh, in Denver today, 86 in Greeley and Fort Collins, Boulder at 82, and most of eastern Colorado in the comfortable 80s. And you can see it's warmer out to the east because the wind behind that front from yesterday is a downsloping wind, so it's really kicking up our temperatures around here. Not much cloud cover, a few clouds in Steamboat and Meeker, and that is about it there. It's right on the edge of one system pushing out from yesterday and the next big thing, which is over San Fran right now. This guy will dip down into Las Vegas coming up tomorrow into Thursday. We're still nice Thursday, most of Friday, not bad. There's a little moisture late in the day here. And then that system blasts through here coming up over the weekend. During the day on Saturday, we are ahead of it. It's Saturday night into Sunday. We get a really good upslope going, so we'll have showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Overnight Saturday, maybe some snow in the mountains and a really good chance of some heavy rain uh, into Sunday morning around here. Some areas may even get a half inch to maybe even an inch of rain total out of some of those areas. So right across the mountains into the Denver metro area and the eastern plains, we are talking some pretty good rain amounts once we get to the weekend. Let's start with the short term future cast statewide tonight, mostly clear, and we'll start the day tomorrow in the sunshine. It's at the end of the day we get a little cloud cover coming up over southern Colorado, but it's not thick enough to produce any rain showers or anything like that. So afternoon clouds is all we're looking at. Cold tonight in the mountains. Look at those numbers. 34 in Vail, 36 in Aspen, 32 in Leadville. Those areas this weekend might be talking some snow down as low as 8,000 feet. More on that in a moment. But for tomorrow, 70s and 60s in the mountains, 80s out west and across the eastern plains as well. So the super seven day forecast, mostly sunny and 84 tomorrow, 86 on Friday. It'll be windy with a chance of thunderstorms in the evening, just a slight chance. And that's a big night for us. That's our football Friday. Grand View and Rock Canyon should kick off about 77, finish about 69 with some wind, and there is a chance of an isolated storm. And then on Saturday, 72 for the high cooler with rain showers coming your way. And in the mountains, we could have several inches of snow, maybe about three to six inches of snow in some of the higher areas coming up. And then Sunday, first day of fall, only 63 degrees and a pretty good chance of rain showers coming up on Sunday. After that, we dry it out and warm it up for the first full week of fall which is coming your way. So get ready. The big change coming this weekend from now all the way through Saturday. You want to keep it here on CBS Colorado and we will. All right, Dave, thank you mm -hmm. so much. It is time to meet.